three friends try their best to understand intimacy in the digital age. As social media takes over their lives, things start getting complicated for Hannah, Ahmad and Neil. Ahmad is a stand-up comedian discussing situationships. He jokes about his best friend, Neil, not having anyone. He thinks it's because he's too short and lives with his parents. His other childhood friend, Ahana, is also his flatmate. While he has too many girlfriends over, Ahana has been dating Rohan for three years. He thinks they will get married soon, and jokes about Rohan cooking for them. Ahana, Imad, and Neil have been friends forever. They share a lot of memories on social media. Rowan is also a huge part of Ahana's Instagram profile. Ahmad wakes up next to his Tinder date and leaves. Richa calls him to ask where he is, and he promises to get in touch later. But he blocks her number and moves on. Rohan wants a break from Ahana. He claims it's about his career, but Ahana is sure there's another woman. He thinks nothing happens between them anymore, but Ahana promises they can work on their sex life. She thinks he's only freaking out because she mentioned marriage. But he doesn't give her any clarity about how long their break will last. Imad tries to console Ahana and claims Rohan will be back with her soon. She asks about his date, but knows he will not call her back too. She requests him not to tell Neil about this break with Rohan, because he hates him already. Neil's dad thinks he is spending too much money on protein and sneakers. Neil is a gym trainer who needs all this. But his dad wants him to understand the value of money, and how hard he works. Ahana, Neil and Ahmad are in the same room, but glued to their screens. While Ahana is writing long messages to Rohan, Ahmad is swiping on the dating app, Tinder. And Neil watches something while eating. They discuss an influencer called Lala, who just went to Maldives on a free vacation. Ahmad thinks her profile is very fake and she doesn't deserve the fame. But Ahana thinks people get influenced when they don't know these trips are sponsored. Neil thinks she's a marketing genius, who has gathered a million followers. She is also his client, and his friends tease him about going to Maldives with her. Neil admits they have been dating for a few months. But she doesn't want anyone to know, because she should look single and unattainable on her profile. Ahana and Ahmad tease him when he claims he wants privacy. Neil thinks he needs more celebrity clients to be successful. Ahmad encourages him to open his own gym. But Neil doesn't have the money. Ahmad thinks they can try their careers for a few years. If nothing works out, Ahana will support them. Even Neil thinks Ahana is sorted, but doesn't understand what she's doing with Rohan. Ahmad informs him about their break, and asks him to keep it a secret. Ahana wakes up to find out that Rohan has ignored all her messages. When Ahmad mentions Rohan putting a picture of a cupcake, she gets irritated and leaves. Ahana's colleague and friend, Meher, discusses her break from Rohan. Her manager asks for a presentation, and Meher feels bad she takes all the credit for Ahana's work. But Ahana is more worried about the cupcake Rohan posted, and they decide to check out his profile. They trace the cupcake to Tanya Mayra's profile, who is a baker and highlights her perfect life. They want to see the Instagram stories too, so Mara suggests they can make a fake profile. Imad's therapist thinks he has built a wall around himself, and refuses to discuss his own issues. She wants him to have healthy relationships, but he jokes about that too. She knows an incident 14 years ago affected him, but he refuses to talk about it. Neil is very good at his job, and teaches some workouts to his manager, Harsh. When celebrity client Malika Arara comes to their gym, Harsh teaches the same moves to her. Neil's client Anita wants to be like Malika, but he asks her to focus on herself. Ahmad makes more jokes about their generation's short attention span. As he discusses how social media has taken over people's lives, Neil feels bad about himself when he checks out other trainers on Instagram. Ahana is also constantly stalking Tanya's profile and feeling bad about herself. She can see Rowan has commented on all her photos. Imad's manager, Melbourne, wants him to produce more viral content that can help increase his reach. Imad's father, Amir, discusses other famous comedians and wonders when he will get his own special. He wants Imad to be more successful but he claims he can take care of himself. Amir still reminds him that the inheritance his mom left won't last forever. Neil is training Lala in her house, but she gets uncomfortable because an elderly neighbor is staring at her. She closes the blinds and kisses Neil. He asks if she's free to meet his friends, but she claims she's taking her parents out for dinner. Imad welcomes his Tinder date, Simran, into the house, who knows him by the name Zishan. She informed him before that she's just looking to photograph him. She's working on a project about the people behind the Tinder profiles. She takes his interview, where he admits he is 25 years old and a stand-up comic. He first realized he was funny when he was sad. He still wears his mom's ring around his neck. When she asks if he has ever been in love, he claims it was only once when he was 9 years old. When he drops her off, he reveals his true name and sends her a follow request on Instagram. Neil is training Ashish, who doesn't want to go to the gym because of too many people. Neil has plans of opening his own studio. 
He thinks it'll be exclusive and perfect for clients like him. It will also have special exercises curated for the clients. Ahana thinks having just 10 people at a time will not be good enough for Neil's business. She thinks a better plan can help him earn more. She's thinking of expansion plans and knows he can open studios in different locations. She even suggests starting an app with a nutritionist. She has an MBA degree and is excited to use the knowledge. Neil thinks if he can find someone like her, it'll be perfect. Ahana admits her job isn't going well, and she's happy to quit if he's passionate about this. While he works on the setup, she can help with the management and expansion. Neil is excited about their partnership, but they need investors. Imad shares that his mom left him a lot of money to invest in something smart. Since they are his only two friends, he trusts them the most. He's more than happy to invest, and they all toast to the jungle gym. They go out for drinks, where Hana is still obsessed with Rohan's profile. Imad spots Lala, and they wonder what she's doing with another guy. Neil walks over to them, and she introduces him to Kartik as her trainer. When Kartik leaves to get a drink, Neil asks why she's not with her parents like she claimed. She assures him that this meeting with Kartik is strictly business. She thinks she could be the face of the campaign for his gin company. When she makes it sound like a big deal, Neil leaves them alone. Their friend Aisha comes to meet Ahana and is excited about getting engaged. She posted beautiful pictures of Maldive. But in reality, her fiancé proposed in a boring way in a parking lot. She asks all of them to be there for her wedding. They party all night and get wasted. Imad finds a girl at the bar he hooks up with. Lala sends a picture to Neil asking him to come over. When Ahana reaches her room, she leaves a lot of drunk messages for Rowan asking for some clarity. Ahana can see her manager taking credit for all her work and wants to quit. She finally gets a reply from Rohan, who admits that she is right about him dating Tanya. She leaves the office and lies in bed looking at old photos of them. Ahana has taken a day off from work and wants to sulk. Imad comes to cheer her up and shows a photo Simran took of him. She teases him about falling for her, since he's meeting her again. But he asks her to focus on their business plan, which his dad wants to see. Neil's father thinks mixing business with friendship is a huge mistake. But Neil taunts him for not knowing anything about being successful. Harsh informs Neil he is out of town for the weekend. He needs him to take a session with Malika. Neil does a thorough workout with Malika, who is impressed with how he trained her. She takes a selfie with him and asks to tag his Instagram handle. She claims she only posted it because he was decent enough to not ask for her picture. Ahana is working on the presentation for the gym when she keeps looking at her phone. She finally gives in and checks Tanya's pictures again. She decides to take her own photos and puts some filters and a quote about staying strong. She gets a lot of love for this post and feels validated. Neil finds out that his followers have increased after Malika posted a picture with him. Lala gets tagged by her neighbor, Per Shvatnys, in some photos of her changing in the house. Neil angrily walks over to his house to let him know this is stalking and harassment. Pearce thinks there's nothing wrong in what he did, because Lala herself posts such photos. Neil claims it's her body and she can do whatever she wants with it. Lala is happy he stood up for her and holds his hand. Simran thinks of Ahmad as a kid, but he kisses her to prove he's not. He finds a photo of her ex, Adil, who was with her for six years. He feels bad when he learns Adil succumbed to cancer, because his mom also passed away due to leukemia when he was nine. She now understands what he meant about being in love only once, and kisses him. Ahana stays in bed again, so Ahmad takes her out for bowling. Neil still hates Rohan for how he has treated Ahana. But to distract herself, she is more interested in teasing Ahmad about Simran, since he has met her twice. For him, it's considered a long-term relationship. Imad's therapist is proud that he is working on being friends with Simran and caring about what she thinks. Amir likes Ahana's presentation, but thinks Imad's share should be more. Imad wants Ahana to be the CEO and thinks their shares should be equal. Ahana gives her two-month notice and explains she's starting her own business. Her manager claims she will miss her, but Ahana taunts her about taking credit for her work. They start working on the plans for the gym, but Ahana is still depressed about Rohan's happy pictures. She decides to shop for clothes while Neil edits his photos to make himself appear fitter. Ahmad is still using Tinder when he's spending time with Simran. He continues to hook up with people. They all enjoy dinner at Neil's place, but other people's success on Instagram still depresses Neil. Ahana starts feeling better when she gets a lot of attention for her latest photos. They start hanging out with Simran too, and love her. Their search finally ends in them finding a suitable spot for their gym. They all sign the lease. But the high point for Ahana comes when Rohan likes her photo. They meet Lala for her birthday, where Neil gifts her an expensive bag. She has only invited them and her photographer, Ronak. She even asks Ahana to pose for a fake photo of her giving a present. She thinks Ahmad and Ahana are cute, and asks why they're not dating. But Ahmad was hoping to meet her influencer friends there. She explains those people used her to increase their followers, so they got uninvited. Ahmad jokes about Neil possibly using her too, and makes some taunts about her personality. Ronak takes photos of them cutting the cake. Imad notices Lala telling him to delete the photo of Neil kissing her. Imad's next set is on influencers, and how he doesn't understand them. He jokes about his friend dating an influencer, and their relationship feeling like a paid partnership. 
Neil starts getting uncomfortable with more jokes about how shallow she is. When he claims their relationship isn't working out, Ahana asks Neil to not take it seriously. He finishes his set about how she refuses to acknowledge their relationship. Neil walks off, and when Ahmad finds him, he can tell he is offended. Ahmad claims he just exaggerated a little, but Neil feels bad he thinks that way about their relationship. Imad wants him to know it's clear Lala doesn't care about him. Neil reminds him that he was rude at Lala's birthday, but he still let it go. This wasn't Ahmad's intention, but he feels like he's a comedian who says it like it is. When Ahmad thinks he should stay at the gym if he can't take jokes, Neil pushes him. He thinks Ahmad is spoiled and entitled, and is saying anything just because he is investing the money. He thinks Ahmad should make jokes about his own sex and Tinder addiction. He walks off after insisting Ahmad can't handle intimacy. Things get very tense between them after that. Neil goes for a run with Ahana, but gets pissed when he finds Ahmad at home with her. Ahana reminds Ahmad they're starting a business, and can't go so long without talking to each other. She thinks they will lose a perfect place if they don't give a deposit. Ahmad asks her to use his money, but Neil has changed his mind. He now wants to return Ahmad's money and look for more investors. Ahmad claims there's nothing he can do to sort it, because Neil hit him. Ahana reaches office to find Ashley, who is set to replace her. Her manager asks her to start the handover process. When Ahana finds Rohan's comment on her photo, she decides to take a sexier picture of herself. Ahmad comes to her room to tease her about wearing a bikini right after office. She claims she's just having fun, but he knows she's doing it for Rohan. He tries to distract her by creating a Tinder profile for her. She finds his profile as Zishan and teases him about it. But she asks him to delete it now if he wants to make it work with Simran. Ahmad claims he was using Tinder just for fun when Simran asks about what Neil said. They take shelter from the rain and get closer. As he lies in bed with her, he starts crying. Ahana and Neil pitch the presentation to Ashish's family. They think the vision is too narrow, but Ashish believes in them. Imad is performing his influencer set again, but stops in the middle when he remembers Neil. He is unable to continue and tries to crack a joke that doesn't land. Melbourne follows him outside and asks why he didn't finish the set. It's in demand a lot and Melbourne has even pitched it to Netflix. But Ahmad doesn't want to perform this again, and claims he can write something better. Melbourne doesn't think he can continue to manage Ahmad if he keeps dismissing him like this. Ashish informs Neil that the gym idea is being discussed in his house. Harsh wants Neil to take another session with Malika, but he asks him to not take photos with her, since he thinks it looks tacky. Ahana is on a date with an investment banker, but she's busy on her phone. She asks for his hand so she can click a photo of it with the wine. Imad finds a girl at the bar and flirts with her. Neil tries to discuss something personal with Lala, but she's distracted. Ahana's date explains he joined Tinder after his breakup a few months ago. When he mentions nothing used to happen between them, Ahana gets offended. This is the same thing Rohan told her before their breakup, and she thinks her date should have tried something to reignite his relationship. But she's still happy because Rohan has seen her post. Ashish is angry Neil showered at his complex the other day. He doesn't care if Neil wanted to look fresh before meeting Malika. He reminds him that none of the staff are allowed to shower there. He fires Neil as his trainer and asks him not to cross a line again. Neil angrily shuts his room when he reaches home. When he notices Harsh posting photos with Malika, he creates a fake account. He leaves nasty comments on his and other celebrity profiles. Neil wants to meet Lala to share this with her. But he finds her shooting for Kardec in a bikini. She reminds him she is working and doesn't have time to listen to him. Ahana asks Neil about progress with Ashish, but he makes some excuse. She thinks they are unnecessarily delaying renting the place because of their fight. She reminds him she quit her job because of them. She understands that they both offended each other, but thinks they need to let it go. She takes him on speaker so Ahmad can hear him say he will try and sort this out. Ahana's parents are coming over, so Ahmad has decided to stay with Simran. When he's with Simran, he always has a lot of fun and they admit that they like each other. Imad invites Simran for a family event as the photographer. Amir thinks she's great and is glad Imad is making progress. He used to think Imad will never trust anyone again because he wasn't there for him. Ahana dresses up just for a picture and changes her clothes again. She gets a call from Rohan when she's with her parents. He has seen her photos and asks about her plans. She claims she is going for dinner at their favorite spot, and Rohan wonders who she is going with. Ahana's parents are proud of all of them getting into business together. But things are still awkward between Neil and Ahmad. Neil opens the door to find a gift basket with red roses from Rohan. Ahana's mom isn't happy Rohan is sending flowers after he broke up with her. Ahana defends him and claims he only got scared because of the marriage discussion. Ahmad admires Simran's photos, and they discuss the emptiness that comes with the digital age. Simran informs him about a call from Ahana, but he chooses to ignore it right then. Simran notices a lot of messages from a girl from Tinder. She hands him the phone and asks if he's still using Tinder. He knows it's wrong and apologizes. He claims he was going to delete it soon, but Simran doesn't want to be with someone who is still seeing other people. She asks him to leave. When he reaches home, Ahana tells him they're getting late for Aisha's wedding function. Neil asks his parents when they're leaving for their trip. 
He wants them to spend some extra money to fly comfortably. He thinks his dad doesn't have a life and taunts him for never taking his mom out for dinner. On his way to Aisha's engagement, he leaves messages for Lala to meet him for the function. He compliments Ahana and tries to be polite with Ahmad. But Ahana can tell it's very fake, and asks them to try again. Ahana locks eyes with Rohan and excuses herself for the bathroom. When Ahmad calls someone to the bar, Neil assumes he's calling Simran. But it turns out to be a Tinder date, and Neil tries to not sound judgmental. Rohan asks Ahana why she's ignoring him. Tanya isn't there with him, and he wants to apologize for how he handled things. They decide to get drunk and she takes him to the dance floor. Neil gives her a look when he notices her with Rohan. Neil steps away to check his phone, and finds stories about Lala spending time with Kardik. When he watches Ahmad getting intimate with his date and Ahana getting closer to Rohan, he walks off. He keeps calling Lala and leaves messages for her. He watches Ahmad doing drugs, but chooses to ignore it. Rohan and Ahana get closer and book a room in the hotel. Neil watches more stories of Lala getting closer and flirting with Kardik. Ahana finally gets to sleep with Rohan and loves it. Neil freaks out because the next story is of Lala kissing Kardik. Imad also gets into a fight with some guys. Lala finds Neil waiting outside her place the next morning. He wants an explanation about what happened last night. When he asks about the kiss and why Kardik gets the attention he never got, she reminds him they're not a couple. He asks why she gave him so much attention if he doesn't mean anything to her. She admits that she only kept calling him over because she was bored. She took him to Maldives only because he's her trainer. And she met his friends because he was pestering her. She thinks he's a decent guy, but there's nothing more to it. He makes a comment about Kardik buying her, but she asks him to not judge her. Ahana wakes up to find Rohan missing. He's not picking her calls, and has even blocked her on social media. The mod comes home again after sleeping with his date and finally deletes Tinder. He admits to his therapist that he let Simran down. Harsh informs Neil that Lala complained about him. He fires Neil, because his involvement with Lala can be bad for the gym. Neil gets angrier and manages to hack into Lala's account. He starts posting as Lala through her account. He shares her real name, and that her job is to show people she lives a perfect life. He claims that none of it is real, because the clothes aren't hers and she doesn't book the places she stays at. He also claims she has bought followers and done a lot of plastic surgery, and used filters to look good. He claims she doesn't love her followers, even if she gets paid because of them. Apparently, her aim is to make everyone fantasize about her, because none of them are rich enough to afford her. At Ahana's farewell party, she shares with Meher that she spent the night with Rohan. Meher shows her some posts Rohan put with Tanya on his birthday. She asks Ahana to let it go, but Ahana is angry. She arrives at the party and forcefully enters. Rohan seems worried she's there, but she jokes about wanting to give him a surprise. When Tanya comes to introduce herself, Ahana asks for a drink. Rowan knows she will create a scene, and she shouts about him sleeping with her. As he takes her to a room to discuss this, Aisha calls Ahmad. Ahana wants an explanation of why he blocked her after hooking up with her again. He claims he was just looking for closure. Rowan had seen all her posts, and she seemed very happy. She admits everything was an act to get his attention. She was tired of looking at his perfect like with Tanya, and wanted to do something herself. But now, she feels bad her self-worth depended on someone like him. Before leaving, she pointedly asks Tanya to question Rohan about where he was on the night of Aisha's wedding. When she's crying outside the party, she watches Tanya leaving too. When Ahmad arrives to comfort her, Rohan also comes out looking for Tanya. He thinks what Ahana did was horrible, but now even Ahmad is angry at him. They get into a fight where Rohan is about to beat him. But Neil comes from behind and breaks Rohan's nose. Ahmad smiles at Neil, and he helps him get up. They all make fun of Rohan, and Ahana is glad to have her best friends back. Imad and Ahana discuss how Lala is getting trolled for everything she has done to her face. Ahana is sure her account got hacked and asks Neil to check on her. But Neil admits he hacked her account because she got him fired and cheated on him. Ahana knows he was hurt, but is disappointed that he took revenge like this. Imad thinks Neil's biggest problem is that he doesn't understand his own worth. Neil posts an apology from Lala's account. He signs his name and admits he invaded her privacy. He claims he was shamed of his own self, because of which he crossed a line and shamed Lala. Imad finally does a set on his own life, and his struggle with the dating apps. He claims he found someone good, and still managed to sabotage it. He also admits he has a therapist, who keeps asking him about emotional intimacy. He confesses he was 9 years old when his mom passed away and his dad started drinking a lot. On one of the nights when his dad was too drunk, his business partner offered Imad chocolates and him. He feels like there was nothing he could think about doing as a 10-year-old. He was so ashamed and afraid of this truth that he didn't even share it with his closest friends. He kept sabotaging his relationships and sleeping around to feel better about himself. Now that he has had the guts to admit it, he claims he's taking control of his life. He gets a standing ovation, and Ahana and Neil are there for him. Before the new year, they all decide to put away their phones for a while so they can enjoy the moment. Imad said is now viral and he has realized being honest and simple can help him get more successful. Ahana stops making efforts to look good for social media. Even Ahmad finds Simran to reconnect with her. Neil is much closer to his parents now. 
Their family is very involved when Ahana, Neil and Ahmad finally open the jungle gym. 